and liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V carrying two American heroes. It was originally intended as a week-long test flight. It became a nine-month mission on the International Space Station and it ended with a five-hour journey back to Earth. And splash down, Crew 9 back on Earth. And if you've been in the isolation of space for 286 days, what better place to be welcomed home than the Florida coast, surrounded by sunshine and curious dolphins. It is awesome. They have Crew 9 home, just a, a beautiful landing. I think many of you heard that uh, back in January, the president asked SpaceX um, what it would take to bring the, this crew home. And I will tell you that at the time that that question was asked, we were already looking at options, what to do with the Crew 10, Crew 9 um, situation and how we're going to set that up. A lot of people have described Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams as being stranded in space, but it's more accurate to say that they switched missions. When their Boeing Starliner was unable to bring them home, they became part of the next crew living on board the International Space Station. They've both been to the ISS before, and like any crew, they were engaged in the work of a professional astronaut, keeping the station running. In fact, Williams has now clocked up 62 hours of spacewalks, the longest time ever for a female astronaut. So now they are back home. What next? Well, first of all, they have some acclimatizing to do. It's like gravity is so unfair after having been weightless for six months, and now suddenly there's this invisible monster literally trying to crush you into the ground like a great big heel trying to grind you into the dirt. And and you've been magically floating weightless, in their case, for nine months. And, and, and now suddenly your arms, you have to lift your arms up, but inside your body as well, your heart for the first time in nine months has to lift the blood all the way from the tips of your toes to the top of your head. They've got a bunch of readaptation to, to get their bodies back used to gravity where they grew up, and it's painful. After being checked out by flight surgeons, the pair, along with other crew members, astronaut Nick Haig and Russian cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov, will be allowed to go home to their families. And that might have been the factor they found most difficult in adapting to their new extended mission. We miss, right, of course, you know, the things that we always miss, our families. I miss my two dogs. I miss my friends. But you know what, like Butch said, there are so many people uh, on Earth that are sending us messages. It's tough on, on them as well as, you know, being away from home, of course. But uh, everybody understands and everybody's cheering for us to get back. Now that Wilmore and Williams are home, the remaining question is over the future for the Starliner capsule that returned from space without them. Touchdown. Starliner is back on Earth. Despite the technical worries and other difficulties for the manufacturer Boeing, NASA still hope to launch another, albeit uncrewed, test flight. We're interested in their resilience. That whole Boeing team, like our whole commercial crew program team, is resilient and moving forward to the next steps on Starliner. Um, it's been a busy start to 2025. It's, it's hard to believe uh, we're in the middle or toward late March. Uh, looking for an exciting summer as well. David Harper. ITV News.